The Lagos State Government has empowered another batch of beneficiaries totaling 1,700 from her NG Cares Labor Intensive Public Workfare Program. Speaking during the sensitization ceremony, the Permanent Secretary Office of Sustainable Development Goals, Tolani Oshodi, stated that the State Governor Babajide Somolu is dedicated to providing opportunities to achieve a state of well-being and socially acceptable standards of living for all residents. Plus TV correspondent Love Ikuko Yedekun was there and now reports. The NG Cares project is designed to enhance the socio-economic well-being of vulnerable members of society as well as alleviate their challenges. Drawn from various communities within Lagos State, the beneficiaries are predominantly unemployed and unskilled youth from vulnerable households aged between 18 and 45 years with educational qualification of senior secondary certificate or below. Dr. Oroluwa Fini is a special advisor to Governor Sowunlu on Sustainable Development Goals, SDGS. She describes the NGK's social impact initiative as one of the driving forces in realizing the vision of the Things Plus Development Agenda. Dr. Finney also noted that the scheme provides opportunities for meaningful engagement and breaking the cycle of poverty across the state. The special advisor also encourages beneficiaries to see the program not only as a job but an opportunity to learn, grow and contribute to the overall development of their communities. Permanent Secretary Office of Sustainable Development Goals, Tolani Oshodi, was represented by the Director, Administrative and Human Resources, Office of the SDGs, Nike Akonji. Our primary objective is to provide immediate employment opportunities in social sector, thereby addressing the emergency constraint caused by this loss of labor, income in poor and honorable households due to COVID-19 pandemic. She highlighted more on the significance of the project. The main reason why government is doing this is to restore the, the, the impact, the impact of this um, COVID that we experienced some years back. And some people, they have lost the means of their livelihood. So in order for them to have food on their table, in order to encourage them, many of them, they have their own small skills, businesses that they do. Many of them have lost it. So they are doing this program to restore them back. Beneficiaries commended the state governor for the initiative. I have a barbing salon that when I do get my stipend, I bought some... Uh, clippers that we can use to barb and since then I've been gathering some money for my new glass so I thank go I thank uh, Lagos State for the NK program that has been a benefit and I really appreciate I work with NQA Loma at Bagagri so when I started doing this job I felt like what am I doing but by the time they gave us our money I was so happy I used it for my little, to start up my little business. We have so many of them and they are expected to work for four hours in a day. So, so far we have uh, success stories of beneficiaries. Uh, some people will say oh, 50,000, what can 15,000 do? But trust me, 15,000 goes a long way in the life of the vulnerable people. You have success story of those that have started businesses, those that the business also, you know, boost their businesses and also. Earlier, Tolani Oshodi said the sensitization and engagement with the new beneficiaries was aimed at identifying their unique needs and support areas to ensure that they carry out their assignments responsibly. Love Ikuku Uyedukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.